Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Judah, and um, this is Papa's Heart Ministry. Thank you for being here today. Papa's Heart Ministry is a platform that we share the purposes of God and plans for our lives. And um, on this platform today, we are we've been having a series of 31 days of thanksgiving to the Lord for um, all that He has done for us, especially for me in the year 2023. And we need to say thank you to the Lord for His mercies, for His kindness, for His faithfulness in my life and in various areas of my life. Are you thankful to the Lord? Do you have something that you are grateful to, for, to the Lord for? You know, anybody can say, I am grateful for, I'm, I'm thankful, God, I thank you. But what specific thing can you, can you put down to say, oh, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that. So this is what we have come to do today, to give him thanks, to give him thanks for what he has done. So in order to do that, we are saying thank you. Today is day 22, and I'm thankful to the Lord because he helps me to begin writing a book and also to finish that book in this year, 2023. Actually, he told me to start writing it just by the second week or, the, or early. I don't know if it was the first or second week in January. And I needed to have finished it before February 14th, where we have Catwell. Catwell is a singles, um, singles ministry under Papa's Heart Ministry, the single platform under Papa's Heart Ministry. And then um, the Lord asked me to do that. You know, so I'm grateful that he helped me to finish it that fast. <laughs> I was able to finish writing this book, um, and that's my first book. I've had others that I've been trying to write over the year, but this one, the Lord helped me to, to start it and finish it quickly. Can you imagine? You know, so it wasn't difficult for me to start and finish. I was able to start it, and I was able to finish it right on time. Thank you, Jesus. And we're able to print, print out for, I was able to print out for, um, to show on the day of the, for for those that came in for, for Cartwell, a Valentine's dinner in, um, um, for a Valentine's dinner um, in February. And we're able to show and, and how people see it. I'm grateful to the Lord. I wish I had I wish I had it here. I should show you. Okay, maybe um when I'm uploading I will have that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm grateful to God for helping me to do that. I'm someone that I love writing. I started writing because I felt like I needed to put down something. So my thoughts are everything God is telling me, everything God is teaching me. Even when I'm making mistakes, I write them down. When he corrects me, I write them down. And when he's really, really harsh, serious, correct, scolding me, I write down everything. <laughs> when he's teaching me to pray, teaching me to do things, I put them down. Because in my mind, I always think that maybe one day when I have a son or a daughter, and they may be going through one challenge or the other, and they don't know how to get through that difficult situation. The Lord will, the Lord in His mercy will lead them to where I have kept some of my books that have written down things that I've gone through with the Lord. And the Lord will direct them to read one of the books. And in that one book, in that particular page, on that particular line, they will find the answer to what they need. So that has encouraged me to always write. So, but writing the book is a different thing because it's putting down thoughts and and ideas that God put in your heart. But those other things were more like when I have my quiet time and fellowship with the Lord or Bible study, I write down those things so that you can see. And I've had for years, many years, more than 10 years, I keep writing. And I'm grateful for the Lord for that. So today I'm thankful that the Lord helped me to start writing that book and He helped me to finish it. And I'm praying that the other ones He helped me to finish them. <laughs> So I am so grateful to God for this.
what are you trying to finish what have you started even if yes you have so not long days anymore in the, in the new year 2023 but just do something every day about your vision do something every day about your assignment about your destiny and let the lord be the one to help you through it let him see that you are serious that you do you, you will take steps if you have to and then he'll guide you through it or he'll tell you what to do he'll show you what to do he will give you the wisdom you know so this is my thanksgiving today and uh, god bless you bye bye